Howdy, Cowdies. How you going? They just pay me to ask that question. I don't really care. Weekly walkabout time with the collector. Got more cool stuff. Been bloody flat knacker. This is really nice. 1864, 12 karat gold ring. Four lovely emerald sea pearl set. Really nice thing, all hallmarked. Kind of like this as well, actually. Lovely bracelet. Looks eastern, sort of filigree silver. Bit of enamel decoration. Really pretty thing. Some more little bits of gold. This is pretty cool. 1940s Snow White and a Seven Dwarf charm bracelet. Nice little silver brooch there with a sort of carved jade. And this is a nice little silver gold plated bracelet with a sort of carved jade. Markazite. Fob chains. MCC. Cool little hi-fi stick pin, lapel pin. Postcards, silver. Nice little fishing reel in a box and a lovely little pocket knife as well. Postcards, jewellery. Silver, watches, yeah, some nice little bits and bobs. This is kind of nice, Victorian sort of uh, bit of hue and pie, nice little wash stand. Little Victorian walnut veneer sewing box with all the contents. Lovely big Japanese kimono. This is pretty cool, the old radiogram with a drop down sort of front turntable in it there. Quite unusual, cool thing. Um, sort of mixed lots, watches, costume jewellery, some watch bands in their boxes, nice little sort of paper sorting, little sort of stand there, as we got chest stuff, striptease soap, it's pretty cool, starts off, the girl starts off with her clothes on, but the more you use the soap, the less clothes she ends up having on, I think she ends up as a skeleton, doesn't she, pretty cool, what else we got, Norman Lindsay prints, nice little pair of, and then a coloured one over the back there. Stereo gear, records, sort of blokes' ties and stuff. Ladies, accessories. Some cool clothes this week, like this big sort of suede and lamb's wool jacket. It's like a large size. Pretty nice little dinner jacket here in a sort of 50s style. And it's got an interesting little Mr. David Glasser, July 2014. Do a little bit of digging around on him. This is an interesting little bit. Uh, what else? Mars leather motorbike jacket. It's a cracker from the 80s. Some sort of biker leather. There you go for a bit of the sort of blue oyster bar action on a Friday night. And the trench coat. Uh, Pearl snap western shirts. Pretty cool sort of motor racing jacket. Another couple of nice big winter coats as well. Heaps of motorbike leathers and good quality runners and shoes down the bottom there. Nike and Adidas and stuff like that. This is a big lot of footy gear and sort of sports stuff. Uh, nice old stripey umbrella. Cracker of a day for a beach umbrella. Be pissing down with rain. <laughs> Fishing stuff. Sort of lamps and lighting. Glass and crystal. Big lot of mixed items up the top there. Gramophone horn with some other stuff. I know it's dark over here. Tools. Lights. Nice little lead light shades. More fishing gear, this is all gaming stuff, a couple of cool boxes of records, sort of big pigeonhole units, another one there, we've got a little sewing machine and some gear under the table, it's a cute little sort of uh, record player stereogram with some nice little sort of 50s matching lights, heaps more tools and stuff this week. Nice big sort of art deco door, really nice sort of frosted crane and sort of foliage design, uh, boxes of stuff and noodles and noodles and some cool black ladies leather boots, nice three boxes of toys and stuff, more tools and gear, what else have we got, records, more tools and stuff, it's a cool little national Panasonic stereo system, a little push little button at the front there, the turntable comes out, all works and everything, we've been playing records on it during the week. Left-handed Samic bass. There's a funny little sort of electrified three-string sort of guitar. With all the sort of notes and stuff like that marked on the neck. So it's a sort of beginner's guitar. Teach yourself how to play and stuff like that. What else have we got? A wakeboard. Tricycle. Metal detector. Old freestyle BMX with all the foot pads on it and stuff. He's pretty cool. A lawn sprinkler. Old line marker. Spotlight. And the tripod, 
pictures, sort of sporty stuff, CDs, big lot of stereo gear, audio visual, it's all of this stuff on the top shelf, all the gear in the boxes, a couple of nice paintings, the big A Regan mixed media, and the little, who's this, little RF Rudd, the Bazaar, I kind of like the palette, I like the colours used in that, big mix, lots of sort of stuff, and things, and things, and stuff, of newspapers, a little box of blokey gear, weights and stuff. I know you can't see. More tools, more records, hats, shooting sort of stuff. No guns, thank goodness. Some cool old 80s clothing, hot tuna sort of surf shirts and stuff. Interesting books, depending on what you're interested in. Roller skates. What have we got in here? Blokey stuff, tobacco tins, hip flasks, ashtrays, watches, good little lot of records, the jam, the pogues, the beetles, and some other stuff. Oz pottery. Mixed lot of china, 1930s. It's a cool little group, lot of novelty salt and pepper shakers and stuff. Little cowgirls, pretty cool. More good records. A good little lot. Sort of pinking shears and some other stuff in amongst. Old collector manias. Old footy and other sports ephemera, grand final supplements, nice lot of old overseas stamp albums all with their contents, little kitchen alia lot with the TG Green mixing bowl, a little Alessi paper clip holder and some other bits, old bottles, I kind of like this, the videotape rewinder, I mean really, you needed something to rewind your videotapes, what were you watching videos that sort of red hot that the minute one was finished you had to put in another one, didn't have time to rewind it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you'd need a specific rewinder, but I kind of like it. What else? China pottery, costume jewellery, whole heap of tiles with hand-painted Garfield on them. What else? We've got some good paintings this week. Little Joe, little Jay Crocker, little Australian school thing. No one knows his actual name. But he's a good painter. About 1900, give or take. It's a nice little watercolour of a boat. It is signed... Lower left, but it's hard to read. This is a nice Arthur Boyd etching of Tosca. Really nice thing. Not the easiest Arthur Boyd to live with on the wall, but nice thing. Little watercolours, really cute as well. Little sort of coastal scene, Port Phillip, unsigned. These are nice uh, John Sherlow etchings. And this one is uh, looking towards Flinders Street. I think this one might be Elizabeth Street or something like that. Uh, this is a nice little Aboriginal oil painting, Simon Jangala. All details in the back, property of Papunya Tula Artists. Details in the back with the catalogue number. Big Martin Ware etching. English artist, contemporary, good thing. What else have we got? There's some other good paintings. I'll show you them quickly. This is John Frawley's lovely little coastal scene watercolour. Second World War artist. There's a good bit as well. The big Maynard Waters. Naive painter. Keylor Pub. Nice, really nice example of his work. Little woofer dog off to the left hand corner there, barking at the people. What other good paintings that we got? Speaking of good paintings, a nice, fantastic little John Taylor, little mixed media. The title is Non Intentional Life Form. Eh, damn cool thing. Sign lower right. Really like his stuff. Really like his stuff. John Olsen exhibition poster from 1966 67. This is nice, a big Otto Kuster. Big oil painting there, I think it's Sydney Harbour, boats at rest somewhere or other there. I really like the John Taylor. Uh, Judy Henshaw oils, and this big thing as well, signed Fasano, Cafe Monet, nice big decorative oil painting. There you go. Some good pictures this week, guys. What else have we got? Tools, CDs, one of them things on a stand. Uh, kids toys, another good lot of CDs, some singles, toys, records, heaps of good records, nice early little doors like my fire single, all original Asta label, Asta sleeve, ephemera, old newspapers, Japanese export wear, Thomas the Tank Engine toys, all good records, Australian stuff, Paul Kelly, died pretty etc. What else have we got? More records down the bottom. Cuckoo clock, costume, fishing reels, a whole lot of midnight oil vinyl, good lot of records, cream and some other stuff, Led Zepp and some other stuff, Barking Spiders Live, cold chisel with the poster in it, 
Another good lot of records. This is a good little lot here as well. Led Zep, Safari, Surfer Joe. World War II Army helmet. Kind of like this little swan dry sort of Elmer Fudd hat. Big thermometer. Carpentry planes. Walking sticks cute. More good records. Toys. Tribal. More good records. Glass. Funnily enough, more good records. There you go. Sin. Praise for their music, damn for their lyrics. Good records, Warren Zevon. Bloody good albums. Fantastic. Underrated muso. Really good. Japanese. Porcupine. More records. Crystal. China. Holly Bavellis Cooper vinyl. Some sort of outriggers. Aboriginal oil paintings. Another good lot of vinyl down the bottom. Lego and computer games. Aboriginal little watercolour there with a couple of bits of tribal as well. Heavy metal singles. Bottles. Orgatron number one. Fuck yeah. What else? There's a cool little singles Australian one. The New Christs and the Stems. I think Rob Young has the vocal, does the vocals on the New Christ single. The Stems, he produces it. He's a singer from Radio Birdman. Good things. Have a little lot of blokey gear. Records, the Beatles, the Stones, etc. This is a cool lot here. Some interesting sort of 1950s pop. A couple of Planers and Dockers um, singles. It's a pretty cool lot. The Clash. Two for the price of one. LP records there, so you get give them enough rope. And self-titled as one record. There you go. It's sort of like gatefold. It all sort of folds back up. One on either side. Pretty sure these things would have only been produced and sold in Australia. I'm quite sure. Anyway, a couple of bloody good Clash albums. Beatles and some other vinyl. Phones. Ephemera. This is a great little bit. Fred Burns, the sporting specialist, 241 Barclay Street, Footscray. There you go, with some other bits and bobs in there, musical stuff. Some more Clash vinyl. Two of the best albums of all time, London Calling and Combat Rock. Rant and Rave, Stray Cats. Stamp albums have got some nice Australian pre-decimal. This is pretty cool. Uh, Frank Zappa bootleg album, trademark equality. A couple of Ramones LPs. Hey-ho, let's go. Good bits of pottery, Alma Shaw and Gunda, Raw Strand, 1970s. Nice big bit of Hineri, Japanese art glass. How's the big bloody West German pot down the bottom? Cool little retro fire tool set. Like the little ebony bust of the African girl. A fan and a clock case. Pyramid phone, a couple more Clash records, Sandinista. Nice pair. Some Australian EPs and singles, The Clouds. Uh, some cool stuff in that little bag, actually. What else? A couple of exploding white mice. Again, sort of Adelaide, 1980s, 90s. Sort of grungy pub rock singles. Bloody good stuff. Interesting pottery vase. No one knows what it is, but everyone's got an opinion on it. <laughs> I reckon it's Australian, but everyone tells me I'm wrong. More good stuff. Ramones coloured vinyl. Leave home. Great album. Good quality Victorian china. Glassware, clocks, etc. I've rambled on long enough. The battery's about to shit itself. We'll see you on Thursday night.